Okay, now I'm on my back, but if I want to be on my stomach, I need to sit up, and what I do is I kind of put my wrist under one knee, and then get my shoe over the other one, and then as I roll over and turn, it should go into position, and then I scoop myself over, and my feet are not always straight, so if there's someone around, I have them kind of straighten them up. Otherwise, I start further, uh, closer to the edge of the bed before turning over. And then, I can get my glasses. Now I have reading glasses and I have long distance glasses. And they're the kind that have the, the things that, that stay into place, which makes it real easy for me to move around compared to the ones that just flop over. So I can just put it up on my face like this. And then I have my computer here, and I just kind of pull, or just kind of hook my fingers on it, and pull it down, clamp my hands on it, and slide it over. And then open it up, and plug in the power cord while the computer is starting up. You show them how you have things looped underneath there, so you can just Oh, yes. It? I have all my sure. cables looped. Uh, on the other side. Yeah, bring the camera around here. Just, just, just keep walking. It's okay. Right here under my wheelchair, I have all the cables that I need. Uh, yeah, just focus the camera clear underneath here. A little further down. It's, it's kind of looped over some metal bars that are underneath here. So I can just grab the power cable for the computer. Or if someone is going to be calling me on the... Uh, webcam, I have the webcam thing, I have the speaker uh, cable here, I have all the cables that I need and I plug it into the back of the computer here so I got power and then I have everything that I use connected to the power strip which is here and I can just flip it on by pushing this button and that will turn on the power to my computer to the webcam, to the speakers, to anything else that I happen to my light, which is a touch light, which is really nice to have. And I'm ready to use the computer. Oh, to using the computer, since I don't have use of my fingers, what I do is I have a pencil, which is uh, stapled to a strap that I put on my hands. And your nails are usually not that long. Yeah, or my they nails often are, but it's time to trim them. It's time to trim my nails, that's true. <laughs> and then when I'm going to type, such as I'm going to write in my diary or something, um, I can just press the keys with, with this. And today is uh, Monday, so I can push the control and the shift by kind of bracing myself. I'm leaning on this elbow here and just kind of getting my finger to position where I can push the the key, whichever key I need to do, and then I can type. A lot of times when I'm typing and I want to do a capital letter, instead of going to all the effort to do this for a shift, I'll just do caps lock, lock and then the letter that I want to use then caps lock off again and then start typing. How fast? You know, I haven't timed it for a few years, but last time I timed it, it was about 42 words a minute. I just typed, this is a sample of typing on my computer, and I don't know how many seconds it was, but anyway, it kind of gives you an idea how I can type. Now, the really hard part is I do a lot of typing in Spanish, and on the uh, desktop computer, I can press uh, Alt and then using the numeric keypad, I can type in the numbers that are necessary for the accents and the tildes and things like that. On this computer, you have to push function and alt and then the number. So I kind of squish both fingers on the left hand with function and alt and then I'll type 164 and I did not 
get the right ones because I did not get the letter N like I wanted. So I'm going to try again. Alt 164. And I got the N symbol there. So uh, that's how I do that. But anyway, this is how I type on the computer. And um, it's pretty basic after that. Oh, moving the mouse around, I can just move this and usually I use the pencil for clicking or double clicking or whatever and scrolling I just uh, put the cursor there hold down the left mouse button and then I can just scroll up or down moving my finger on this touchpad and the touchpad is a really nice invention I love it, it makes it a lot easier than those little wheels that they used to have before or sometimes they would have a little tab in the middle that you have to push around okay the phone just rang now I have a special handle on it that I can just grab it like this and talk. Good morning. Hi Mary.